The space between uh, two square flat pl parallel plates is filled with oil. Each side of the plate is 60 centimeters. The thickness of the oil film is 12.5 mm. The upper plate, which moves at 2.5 meters per second, requires a force of 98.1 newtons to maintain the speed. Determine the dynamic viscosity of the oil in poise. So actually poise is a CGS unit of viscosity. And the kinematic viscosity of the oil in stokes. Stokes is also a CGS unit of uh, kinematic viscosity. So, actual ga, poise is a CGS unit of uh, dynamic viscosity. And the stokes is a uh, CGS unit of uh, kinematic viscosity. Okay. Uh, if the specific gravity of the oil is 0 0.95. So, given the specific gravity of oil as uh, 0 0.95. Okay. First of all, let us understand the question. So, let me chart question chota. So, the space between two square flat parallel plates. Let us try to draw a figure. So, there are uh, two parallel square plates. Two parallel square plates. So, square plates means each side is, uh, each side is constant. Length of each side is same. Okay. Na? So, even uh, each, uh, each side is 60 centimeters each side is 60, 60 centimeters so there are two uh, parallel square plates is filled with oil and this gap this space filled with oil okay. so specific gravity of uh, this oil specific gravity denoted by s yes, is equals to 0. Point, i think 95 or something 95 is equal 0. 0.95 specific gravity of this oil is 0. 0.95 and uh, length of each side of a square plate is uh, uh, 60 centimeters. The thickness of the oil film. So here, thickness of the oil film, film is given. So thickness is equal to how much given? So thickness of oil film is 12.5 uh, mm. Thickness of this uh, oil film is, uh, this oil film is 12.5 mm. Okay. So there are two uh, parallel square plates and uh, filled with uh, the space filled with uh, some oil whose specific gravity is 0 0.95 and thickness of this oil film so the oil film thickness into market 12.5 mm okay next at the same time the upper plate and this is lower plate this is lower plate and this is upper plate this is upper plate okay so upper, upper plate is moving with a velocity here upper plate is moving with a velocity 2.5 meters per second 2.5 meters per second okay 2.5 meters per second require a force of uh, to maintain this velocity we need to apply how much force 98.1 newtons this much shear force this is actually shear force okay na? so it acts uh, tangential to the body so this much uh, force is required to maintain this velocity 2.5 meters per second and ultimately determine determine dynamic viscosity in poise mu means uh, dynamic viscosity mu and second one is mu mu means kinematic viscosity kinematic viscosity in stokes kinematic viscosity in stokes okay. so first of all let us discuss about uh, this poise and stokes so, poise is a CGS unit of dynamic, vis dynamic, uh, dynamic viscosity. Remember, one poise is equal to 1 by 10 Newton second per meter square. Newton second per meter square. One poise is equal to 1 by 10 Newton second per meter square. Here, Newton per second per meter square is a SI unit of uh, dynamic viscosity. So, this is SI unit of dynamic viscosity. And Stokes. One stroke is equal to 1 centimeter square per second or 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square per second. So, this is CZ, okay, no, stroke and centimeter square per, per second is CZ units. These two are CZS units and this is SI unit. Okay, One stroke is equal to 1 centimeter square per second or 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square per second. Okay, So, this is all about unit conversion. And now, how to find uh, dynamic viscosity? First question. We have to find dynamic viscosity. 
dynamic viscosity denoted by mu so first of all uh, what is uh, viscosity in uh, simple words viscosity is a measure of uh, fluids resistance to flow okay so viscosity is a measure of fluid resistance to flow okay in general in informal way we measure spreadability how easily that fluids uh, spread in a surface oka surface meda edana oka fluid anedi manu veste adantha easy ga spread avutundi aa measure cheyadanni manu simple ga em antam ante viscosity antam okay so anyhow here we have to find dynamic viscosity so according to newton's law of viscosity according to newton's law of viscosity shear stress tau is equal to mu into du by dy so according to first law i mean newton's law of viscosity from newton's newton's law of viscosity from newton's law of viscosity tau is equal to mu into du by dy where tau is equal to what is tau shear stress what is tau shear stress so what is the formula for shear stress shear force by area under shear shear force by area under shear and next mu so mu any mu is a dynamic viscosity and what is du and dy du means here du means what is du change in velocity change in velocity so change in velocity here uh, what is change in velocity in this case here initial velocity is zero final velocity is 2.5 meter per second so change in velocity means u2 minus u1 final velocity 2.5 meters per second so initially the plate is fixed so velocity will be zero so you will get 2.5 meters per second so change in velocity how much 2.5 meter per second and what about dy dy means thickness of oil film thickness of oil film so here what is the thickness of oil film you given thickness how much 12.5 mm so thickness of oil film is 12.5 mm 12.5 mm okay so we have to find uh, tau shear stress and uh, by plugging all these values uh, we can find uh, mu okay no? so if values any the inverse substitution just the equation no then the formula of substitution just the then we can find the dynamic response very simple procedure still we need shear stress shear force by area under shear so shear stress is equals to mu into du by dy u by dy so first of all let us find shear stress shear stress is equal to shear force by area under shear so area under shear is what so area here uh, the given uh, plates are having circular i mean square cross section so here we have square plates so area of square is what side into side area of uh, plate is uh, area of square plate is side into side so each side is 60 cm each side is 60 cm Sixty into sixty, three thousand six hundred centimeters into centimeters centimeters. Let us convert uh, all units into some meters. So, if centimeters square, one centimeter square is equal how many square meters? Ten to the power of minus four square meters. Okay, now one centimeter square is equal to ten to the power of minus four meters. This is area under shear. Now, plug this value here. F S means how? How much? Shear force ninety eight point one newton by area under shear three thousand six hundred into ten to the power of minus four meters square. Now, now by plugging all values here, we can find mu. Tau is equal to how much? Ninety eight point one by three thousand six hundred into ten to the power of minus four is equal to mu into du. Du means change in velocity two point five meters per second by dy means uh, thickness of the oil film how much you can 12.5 mm so convert it into meters 10 to the power of minus 3 meters 1 mm is equal to 10 to the power of uh, minus 3 meters this is in meters per second and here unit is newton per meters 
We need mu value. Transpose the entire values, all values to, okay, na? Left hand side. So division becomes multiplication. So 98.1 into 12.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 by multiplication becomes division. So 3600 into 10 to the power of minus 4 into 2.5. Okay. Next. Mu is equal to 98.1 into so 2.1 is 2.5. 5, 5, sir. so 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 by 3600 into 10 to the power of minus 4. Still if you calculate further, 98.1 into 5 into, so move uh, 10 to the power of minus 4 from denominator to numerator, then uh, negative exponent becomes, uh, this negative minus 4 becomes positive 4 by 3600 okay. mu is equal to so if you simplify this further 98.1 into 5 into so 4 minus 3 these are equal power should be added so 4 minus 3 1 10 by 3600 0 0 get cancelled 5 ones 98.1 by 5 ones and 5 six are 30 60 and 72 so 98.1 by 72. So, if you calculate, uh, you will get approximately 1.3625 Newton second per meter square. Okay, no? 1.3625 Newton second per meter square. This is the viscosity of uh, uh, oil in SI units. This is SI unit, Newton second per meter square. But given in the question, uh, viscosity, dynamic viscosity of oil in uh, I think uh, serious unit poise. Okay, let's see. In last step, uh, we have got uh, mu is equal to 1.3625 Newton second per meter square. Okay, so this is dynamic viscosity of uh, oil in uh, SI units, and we need uh, dynamic viscosity of uh, oil in uh, I mean serious units poise. One poise is equal to one poise is equal to one by ten. Newton second per meter square. Okay. Now, uh, now, one poise is equal to one by ten Newton second per meter square. Now, one Newton second per meter square. How much? How many poise? Ten poise. How many poise? Ten poise. Okay. So replace Newton second per meter square by ten poise. Mu is equal to ten poise. So 1.3625 into 10, 13.625 points. Therefore, dynamic viscosity of the given oil is 13.625 points. And the next question is find kinematic kinematic viscosity. Next one is find kinematic kinematic viscosity of oil. Kinematic viscosity of oil in stokes. In stokes. And remember, kinematic viscosity denoted by mu, kinematic viscosity is the ratio of uh, dynamic viscosity and density of uh, oil. Dyna okay, kinematic viscosity of oil is equal to dynamic vis is a ratio of dynamic viscosity of oil by density of the oil. Okay. So here we need density of the oil. So what is the formula for density of oil? density of oil I'm writing short form density of oil is equals to density of oil is equals to we need density of oil okay density of water or standard fluid into specific gravity density of oil is equals to density of water into specific gravity so actually specific gravity is a ratio of density of uh, liquid by density of uh, standard fluid nothing but water Okay, so now density of oil we need. Density of water how much? 1000 kg per meter cube into specific gravity 0 0.95. You will get 950 kg per meter cube. 950 kg per meter cube. Now we have density of uh, 
oil and uh, we have formula for kinematic viscosity nu is equal to dynamic viscosity what in SI units 1.3625 newton second per meter square by density of oil 950 kg per meter cube. If you simplify this uh, you will get kinematic viscosity as 0 0.001435. 0.001435 yes. okay. units meter square per second meter square per second okay. now but we need kinematic this is kinematic viscosity of the given oil in meter square per second SI units we need in CGS units stokes so now we need kinematic viscosity of oil in stokes in CGS units so here 1 meter square per second is equal to 10 to the power of 4 centimeter square per second. 1 centimeter square per second is equal to 1 stroke. Is equal to 1 stroke. Now 1 meter square per second, how many strokes? 10 power 4 strokes. Okay now. So now substitute here. 0 0.001435 into 1 meter square per second is equal to how many strokes? 10 power 4 strokes. No multiply. You will get mu is equal to so how many zeros? Four zero. Here power is four. Four zeros we have. One, two, three, four. We have to move decimal point four places to the right side. So one fourteen point three five strokes. So this is the kinematic viscosity of oil in strokes. And this is dynamic viscosity of oil in poise.